Hello and welcome to Script Tonight Reacts. I'm Script Tonight. Today we're going to be watching season one, episode nine of The Expanse. This episode is called Critical Mass. Really, really excited for this one, particularly when I read the title. Um, given what we saw in the last episode with the, the new life form, apparently. And you put that and critical mass together and I'm thinking outbreak. Um, which has just kind of put the whole season in fairly fairly kind of stark relief for me. It's really weird. I I guess I still wanna know who's pulling the strings and, and what's going on with the OPA and if there's another agitating force around. But what I was kind of left with after mulling over the last episode was what has been hinted at and set up to this point where the show has been trying to say there's an inside man there's an inside woman and it's really like trying to move between those two mindsets of it being kind of a mystery but also now this existential threat is really really fun it's it's one of the reasons i love lost one of the reasons i love the leftovers those types of shows that have you questioning people's motives constantly and the show's done a really good job of that with me so far. I think by, you know, by this point, it's like, I don't trust anybody. Which is like a pretty good place to be if you're, if you're watching a geopolitical mystery. <laughs> but, yeah, I, 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 who do I trust? I think I probably trust Amos. Because... Right now, he's been presented as a character with no side. But even as I'm saying that, I'm like, do I though? But that would be a really, really great cover if you were actually an infiltrator to be someone who couldn't look. So there's no kind of safe space. But what I'm liking about it is despite that kind of incredulity and lack of trust, there's almost no character in this that I don't like. In fact, I'm struggling. I don't like the spy. But I think I could if I saw more of him and he wasn't fucking our team over. Everyone is fleshed out. Everyone has something about them that I like or admire. I, I simply like watching them. You know, like Anderson Dawes, played by someone else, could be sort of two-dimensional and stuff. But Jared Harris is just bringing so much to that. I can't take my eyes off the screen when he's on it. And Chad Coleman's doing a great job as well as Fred Johnson. It, I'm, I'm honestly, I'm really, I've been really, really pleasantly surprised by this show so far. And I'm really, really looking forward now to getting into these final two episodes. We're in nine and ten, and then the season is wrapped up. So I'm expecting some big bangs. <sighs> Are you ready? I'm ready. Let's have at it. You know, everything going on out there, all this shitstorm that we're in, it's all got to do with her, Julie Mao. You saw this. <gasps> oh, my God. If I had your kind of money, I'd be sitting in a penthouse at the Shangri-La. My father's money. I see. And that's his weapon on that ship. The belters need to know what it is so it can't be used against us. Us? What? You are a true believer. Prepare to intercept. Matching course and speed. Shit! Breach, subdue crew. Grab the cargo then. Marsh hand on the tap, Bradness. They are scientists, not soldiers. They work for my father, they'll fight. Her dad? Seriously? Oh, Miller Trunk dialed him. Fuck. Where did that come from? Zenobus. That's a gunship. All hands, we are being boarded. Is this 
fuckers. Shoot bears by this? Oh my god! It was his hand. Hands off that one. She's a complication. Put her in here till they figure out what to do with her. So she's still alive because, right. Fuck. Ma'am, the distress beacon has been planted on the scopula. Canterbury should be picking it up soon. Let's hope they take the bait. The sooner we get Earth and Mars at each other's throats, the sooner we get their eyes off arrows. <laughs> Does it feel hot in here to you? No. Well, I'm hot. Check climate control and make it cooler. Yo, fucked. This is Lionel Polanski. I repeat, Lionel Polanski. Makeup has gone bad. The crew is dead. Oh my god. I'm being held captive. I'm alone. Somebody help, please. Oh my god. Oh, this is the cap of the building. Oh, 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 Oh no! Oh no! Right. Oh my god. This is Lionel Polanski. Mission has failed. Scopula has been lost. I'm aboard the Anubis. Hold on. There's something in the reactor. It looks like it consumed everyone else. Oh, well. Wow. If it's a bioweapon, I've never seen anything like it. I'll set up an OPA locator beacon and park it where no one else can find it. But I just have to leave. Oh, my God. So Anderson Dawes is on his way. Because he knows. See, I knew that necklace was going to come in handy at some point. I'm pretty sure is now we're going to find out about the, the reason he needs to have that necklace. Oh god, look at her. I had to get off the streets. I left a trail of breadcrumbs. Why? A way for you to find me. And I waited. <coughs> and I waited. <coughs> Dawes? Uh, I didn't even answer. Dawes, you prick.
for us now. We're in the room. I mean, she did touch it, but... And if you stay here, you'll never find out who did this to her. Easy. Billy, tell me what the hell is going on here. She's gone. With a girl. Oh, I can't believe this. Don't push him too hard right now. He's having a tough time dealing with what we saw. The girl meant something to him. It was a shock finding her like that. Damn right it was a shock. Okay, I'd say we're all in a bit of trouble here, so why don't we just figure what out what we can do? Everyone needs to evacuate Eros! You knew this. What happened to her? What happened to her? Settle down! Fuck Not off. like this now. Fuck back! Fuck hey, easy there! Amos, for God's sake, do what you something! Do? What we should be doing is leaving. The cops are gonna be all over us. We need to get back to the Rossi and off this rock now. He's right. We shouldn't separate. I'm gonna prep the ship for dust off. You guys meet us there. We both follow Julie here. We both have part of the story. I want the truth as bad as you do. Shit. Thank you for letting me come. Frank always said it is damn near impossible to stay properly mad at that brat. I'm not Frank. Oh. Would you mind if... I need to say goodbye. Did he kill himself? She up to? Fuck's sake, Avasarala! Oh, she's a fucking nightmare! What, though? Tell me a code. If I'm ever murdered, look for the pencils. Don't touch it. Oh my god. She's got more than enough in her. Tell the crew to prepare the injections. What? Oh, fuck. I'm truly sorry to be the one to have to tell you this. But your daughter is dead. We still don't know what exactly happened on the Anubis. The only thing that I can say to temper this terrible news is that I was able to obtain a viable sample of the protomolecule. The injections have been prepared. We are ready for lockdown. The irradiation units are in place. We can still do what needs to be done. We may not get another chance. We've come so far since that incredible revelation on Phoebe. Now we stand on the precipice. We can only learn by letting it learn. All you need to do now is say the word. We are lucky. Our seed is planned. about to die. It was OPA. She found some new bioweapon they were putting together on Phoebe. So did we. She wanted to steal it. They couldn't use it on belters.
that was it's happening. Attention, the Aero Station has experienced a radiation hazard breach. For your own safety, you guys feel that? We sure do. Son of a bitch. Shit. Ship just blew up in the docks. The Rosie? No, it wasn't in that bay. That's good news. Bad news is, ships are all locked down tight. They're making sure everyone's confined and trapped, aren't they? Fuck. gonna be the fucking no what are you looking at when i see them cops they're cpm stations carry the gangsters with badges one team rounds them up the other shakes them out he knew it was gonna happen how could they know a ship was gonna blow up on the docks because it's a setup it's a trap hey where the hell are you going something it's all connected the camp the girl it's not your problem it's not your fault none of it is okay but now i'm making it my problem meet me back at the rossi i'll be a few hours tops iodine supplement protect the radiation okay now no Oh, you bunch of shit. Pick it up. They're injecting it right into him and pretending it's fucking... Got the Dodger and body armor just like that. Who is he? He's one of the guys who did what they did to Julie. You need to go back to your friends. God damn it. If he killed Julie, he killed my ship too. I need you alive. Oh, stop the pissing contest, please, Miller, and just fucking. <laughs> this better be a plan. Go quiet and go now, as we throw you into our cells. Right, help me up. My neck. Come on. Here's your problem. Take care of it. Fred, I need some Fred. My name is Fred Lucius Johnson. <clears throat> go on. My name is Frederick Lucius Johnson. Many of you know me, one way or another. At this moment, the UNN Nathan Hale is headed for Tycho Station to arrest me because the UN believes I was involved in the attacks on the Doninger. That is not true. I'm broadcasting the raw data with this message. Anyone can examine and authenticate it. It's a detailed analysis of the ships that destroyed the Doninger. They were advanced stealth fighters. They didn't come from the belt. I didn't build them. No belter did or could. The belters served the inner planets for generations. Belters give, Earth and Mars take. Our language has changed. The things we care about have changed. Even our bodies have changed. We look upon each other as different, and we've grown to hate each other for that. And now, someone, somewhere, for some ungodly reason, wants the whole sad lot of us to fight and die. This evidence proves beyond a doubt that the ships that destroyed the Doniger were built at the Bush Naval Shipyards. They were built by Earth.
What's this? Huh? It's a series greaser tat. I used to run with them back there, so what? So that makes you a gangster, you see? But you're wearing a cop uniform. Why is that? I went straight. Oh, my God! CPM offered a bunch of Grigas jobs here a few months back. Sweet salary, fat bonus, no questions asked. And it wasn't just us, all the series crews. Like stuff mostly, it turned out. They had us hooking up cameras and science gear all over the station. Oh my God. Why are you herding everybody into those shelters? Because that's what they asked me to do today. And then you're all gonna die. If these assholes want people in those shelters, we should let them out. Hey, you're welcome to try. You said you were a cop. You a cop like him? You're gonna take me to the nearest shelter and you're gonna help me get it. This PM sees me with you, they shoot us both. Uh, he's got a point. Jesus <laughs> Miller. <laughs> get this poor officer some help. Oh my god. Hold on. We're on the move. You shut down comms. Comms just went dark. Of course they did. Oh my See, god. Guys. But how are we gonna get out of this? Shitbags! Oh, Stand down. I got rank here. Not today, you don't. Sir, sir, we're trying to. You're fucking kidding me. Oh my god. Oh. Dose of hard radiation. Not bad. We're dead. No! No! This is ridiculous. Oh my god. This is going to take me a second. So Anderson Dawes sent Julie Mao on the mission. Julie knew that her dad was somehow involved in this, in creating this bio weapon. And her mission was to seize it and basically just stop it because she identified with the cause of the belters she's captured she's taken onto the anubis but the weapon itself consumes the anubis and everyone on it right julie escapes but not before she's got this stuff all over her hands she gets to eros so she is inadvertently become the weapon that she set out to stop. And she's basically become a host for this thing now, which means that Dresden and this team on Eros, who have hired all of the gangs from Ceres to become cops on Eros, so that they can control people and basically set up this incident. So what they're doing there is setting off this bogus radiation leak so that they have a reason to inject people and then it's just going to go, oh god. Meanwhile, we've got Vassarala taking those pencil drives from de Graff's place. And de Graff has the blueprints 
for the very actual ships that we know have been driving this whole thing. Probably funded by Jean Pierre. And yet we're being told by Fred Johnson that the ships were made at Bush Naval Base on Earth. Why would de Graff? Who did it? Oh my god, I can't wait for the next episode. I'm gonna have to watch it today. I mean, I think I'm gonna render this thing down. I've got to go to the gym, so I, I can't watch it straight away now. And then come back after the gym and watch and watch ten because that is amazing. That was absolutely amazing. I don't buy for a second that the radiation is gonna kill Miller and Jim. I'm wondering if maybe it's the cure for the um the thing. And for some reason they've chucked a bunch of people who are already sick in that room and they're gonna I don't know why they do that, that doesn't make it but I just I can't there's gotta be a catch. They're not dying. I'm so sad that Julie Mao is dead. I really, really, really like her character. I like her that much. I'm still, like, clutching at straws to be like, maybe there could be some sort of twist. Because we don't know what... I just don't know what's going to happen now. I think I've got an awful feeling that Eros is... How are we going to get off Eros? I don't feel like we're going to stop the attack. I think this attack is going to happen. It's like, it was in progress. They've, they've already given out God knows how many injections. So people are already sick. And now Earth is firmly in the frame. I don't think it's going to take very long at all for Mars to retaliate for this. Fuck. Oh my God. Bring it on next episode. All right, I'm gonna I'm gonna cut it there, but here we go. Until the next time, bye bye.